Hi, long time no see, but I'm back. And you may be wondering why the hell it is that I'm dressing up as Brigitte Bardot just because I can. The reason is today's my sister's birthday and she's doing a small themed gathering to celebrate because that is allowed here. And the theme for this gathering is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood because we are all fans of Tarantino and that movie is just great. So the idea is to dress as someone important from the 70s from Hollywood. The idea is to dress as someone from Hollywood that was important or relevant in the 70s and yeah okay I know Brigitte Bardot is mostly on 60s but she did a lot of films towards the end of the 60s beginning of the 70s exactly like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So, don't at me. But yeah, that's the whole idea of this video, to take you with me on this process, on this transformation. And the first thing is I'm going to go take a shower because later on I'm going to the hairdresser. What's that? I'm gonna go get my hair done because there's no way I can achieve Brigitte's hair all by myself. And actually, I already started the preparation a few days ago. What up? Just getting rid of my mustache. I just did my eyebrows. Eyebrows on fleek, the buck. I didn't check the time I put the cream on. But yeah, I'm gonna go take a shower and I'll see you later when preparations really begin. I just wanna say that I just stepped on a spider and I couldn't find it after that. I'm scared it's on me, let's just hope it's not. But I just wanted to show you the outfit first before I put it on tonight. This is the dress, wait, let me show it better. This is the dress, it's just a tight little black dress. If you're a directionary, you know what I mean. And I'll be wearing these heels too that are pretty 70s with a couple of bright or shiny socks. By the way, this is the reference picture I was going for. That is the look I'm recreating today. Now let's go dry my hair. You remember Howard's March and WAP remix? Smile for the camera. Hi. Happy birthday. <laughs> the best part. Second best part. So it's finally time to start really getting ready and I'm first going to do my eye makeup and not my entire makeup because I still have to go to get my hair done and of course I have to wear a mask. I don't want my makeup to get ruined while wearing the mask. The thing with Bridget's eyes is that they are more hooded than mine and more like elongated. So I have to do some makeup tricks in order to achieve that. So wish me luck so that I can succeed. For eyeshadows, I'm going to be switching between the Naked Basics by Urban Decay and the Jacqueline Hill and Morphe collaboration. And the first thing I'm going to use is apply this taupe on my crease to create that hooded illusion. Any difference? Next up, I'm going to apply this shade and apply it on my right here to create that illusion that it is forward. I think this is actually working. I should have done one eye first to see the difference. 
but here we are. Moving on, I'm going to apply this gorgeous color on my lids. Now it's time for eyeliner. And I'm going to use, of course, the black eyeshadow here. Now I have to line my lower lash line. But the thing is, I don't want to use black because I don't really like how that looks on me. So I wanted to use a brown liner. But I only have I only have this one and it is from Kylie Cosmetics, you know, from her lipstick. Oh, I can't speak. From the Kylie Lip Kits. And it is in the shade Mink. Do you think something bad will happen if I use this one on my eyes? Well, let's hope not. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but I can't do this on camera. Well, I certainly don't look like me. I don't know if I look like Bridget, but I don't look like me. I look like someone. Old. And the lip liner actually worked. I like how it does the job of making my eyes darker, but it isn't exactly as dark as it would be with a black liner. It's almost time for me to go. I think I'm going to do my brows and then I'll just go to my hair. Her brows are so thin, but I'm not a fan of thin brows. You gotta follow the rules. So I think I'm just filling in my eyebrows and giving it a more of an elongated shape. Okay, so these are the worst eyebrows I've ever done and they are not at all thin. But I have to go, so I'll fix that later. Okay, off we go. Now I feel like a real YouTuber, you know, vlogging from the car. But I'm not going to vlog all the way because I want to listen to music and you know that is copyrighted. And I want to take this time to just recommend you a song that I have been listening non-stop and I just can't stop listening to it. And that is TikTok by Clean Bandit. It's just so good. If you haven't listened, it, do yourself a favor and go do it. I'm almost done. I only have to do the rest of my makeup, but I'm so happy with the hair. I was nervous. He couldn't get it right, but he totally did. He nailed it. I feel like Hollywood glam. 